Alright, this is our 2008 Ford Fusion. We're going to fix this little windshield chip crack right here. That's what we're going to do in this episode. It's going to take a little bit. We tried to do it the other day. Didn't work out all that great. We bought this kit. It's here from uh, uh, JB Weld. You know, I trust the JB Weld brand, so we had a couple options to pick from when we uh, um, had the option to pick. So we tried it the other day and the windshield was too wet. So. We have to um, make sure this little hole right here, because I put it on. No, I don't want to take that apart. Okay, so now I got to do this tricky and figure out how to put that right over. Let's see if that's it. Pretty close. I can go just, if it'll come up, I'll go just up, yeah, a little bit over. So, all right, there we go. So we got to push that on. Now, Norm, what it was supposed to do was the first piece that, that hooks to this, you peel this off, and you stick the green side down on the nice clean windshield. And then you peel the white piece off, and you stick this on top of it. But since... I tried to do this in the parking lot the other day. Maybe I'll include that little footage there. So you can have a good fun laugh. So, we got that done. Now, I don't remember what's next. Check the air bubbles in the... Okay, check the air bubbles from the inside. Make sure there is none. I know that's good, but heck, I don't know. But we don't want it to mess up too much, so we're going to take and we're going to put some good old fashioned duck. Duck. Yeah. Actually, this is tuck tape. Oh boy. Tuck it. Well,. There's a bunch of sayings to go, if you can't duck it, then, then you know, we won't say that because we're trying to be a friendly channel, but it, remind, it rhymes with tuck, too. If you can't tuck it, there you go. But we're kid-friendly here. So. Although I doubt that a kid's going to be watching my windshield video on how to uh, fix a chip in a windshield. So, okay. Then what? What did my narrator say I gotta do next? Put that one forth. Put it on the lock thing. Put it? The first lock thing. The first lock thing? Right here? No, the first one. First one? Yeah. And then what? Lock it in and then fill it, put one fourth of that tube in there. In here? Yeah. Oh. You cut it open and you push it in there. Push it in here? Yeah. Like that? Yeah, put one fourth of that in there. The resin. <clears throat> so stick a quarter of this in here? Yeah. And then what? And then put it on the window. Put it on the window? Yeah. And then you stick it down to the, the next button. To the next lock button. Right there? Yeah. And that's it? And then it says you have to wait 10 to 20 minutes, 10, 20 minutes, 10 minutes. And then you do the thing, and then you take it out, and then put the other one in, and then 20 minutes. And we do it again, same, same. Pretty much. Okay. Go ahead and hit that little stop button there. All right, I forgot to record it. But what we did here was we did, after it sits for 10 minutes, go ahead and pull the, pull the syringe off, letting the air out. And then you put it on the second setting. There's another setting right here. 
See, that's the first setting. That's the second setting. So before, it sucked all the air out. Like that. With the syringe, okay? And then the second step is, is to pressurize it. This may or may not be debatably the uh, proper and correct way to do this, so... It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> We're going to get this baby back to factory as good as we can do it. We're probably gonna, yeah. This this is great. So this is the best to do. Today. The directions here says uh, <laughs> at least twenty minutes, right there. So we're gonna go ahead and wait twenty minutes, maybe, because we're, but we're kind of impatient. So we'll see if it works or not, and then we, I guess, read the rest of the directions. But the car is currently tore apart because I did the uh, 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 wheels, the speed sensor, but. Um, I'm going to work on that in another part. So, all right. After I get the right part, because I ordered the wrong part. No, wait a minute. I'm supposed to say that the auto parts store, they gave me the wrong part for the wrong side. Yep, that's what happened. For sure. So, okay. We're going to go here and goof around the garage here, clean some stuff up, but I had to pull the back seat out to get the wheel speed sensor replaced. That's kind of crazy, huh? So, okay. Uh, see you in a few minutes. <laughs> Bye. Okay, we're back. So, it says to go ahead and remove the syringe. Okay, we've done that. Keep this handy. The razor blade. Careful, safety. Then this is the curing strip, according to the directionals. And then we got this, the rest of the resin. So what we do here is, lose the resin. Okay, so now what we got to do is take off our tape, because we are extra safety. Safety here. So that it doesn't really flubber down the window. Okay, let's see if this... Well, of course it worked. I mean, we're professionals here, but I mean, I uh, work a man here. Self-proclaimed professional. Oh, look at that. Glad we put that on there because maybe that was going to run down like that. Okay, so we're supposed to... We're supposed to remove that somehow. <laughs> It says something about the razor blade, so let's go ahead and... Get the residuals. The residuals, yeah. Careful. Razor blades can cause five stitches right there in your hand if you're not careful. Five stitches, because I... One day. So, that just means I'm experienced. Good to make mistakes just hopefully at the end of the day you have all your fingers and stuff when those said mistakes are made I'm really not sure this is supposed to be this difficult here but Right? Right. <clears throat> Good job. We're getting the... Right? Right. For, yeah. <laughs> Remove cap from resin tube while holding resin tube in one hand. Oh, wait a minute. No. We skipped a step. Since step seven has completed, remove the syringe. We did that. Using the safety razor, slowly remove the pedestal and the adhesive disc from the glass. Wipe any residual from the glass. Okay, see? I'm following the directions. I, that was probably the first problem I had. Whoops. Okay. All right, 
Yeah, loosen it up. Oh. Okay. There's one part off. We're making progress here, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen. There's something about don't get on your hands or something. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not over the rest of the windshield either. Probably not. A, well, that's just going to fill the other, you know, little. So let's remove off of there like that and something. And remove the residuals. So we got the residuals off. And now I think we're supposed to. It says. Remove cap. Oh, no, I skipped a step. Okay. Wipe off any resin, residual resin from glass. Okay. Um, Should have planned ahead from that step, I guess. All right. Just do some uh, fancy camera work or something. Go like, go like woo 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 on the thing. Woo woo woo. <laughs> on the windshield. Woo woo woo. Yeah, there you go. Woo woo woo. All right, let's see here. How do I wipe residuals when I got my towel bag in there? Hmm. There's another one somewhere. Oh, we'll just refer to my cabinet full of rags. Okay. Not for fiber. Wipe the residuals. What do you think? Residuals, looks good. Okay. Now I don't know why I'm supposed to wipe the remaining residue because it says to. Well, I wouldn't get in there too deep, like. Okay. Now it says take. Where did you lose it? It's right there. Oh. Take, take resin. Said resin. And put on here. To fill it in. Okay, and then it says. I wonder if I'm supposed to like fill it all the way, but. Okay. Well, there we go. Now it says. Let me, okay, let me read the directions again. It says. Uh, Wipe the residuals off the rest of the windshield. Wipe the okay. Remove cap from resin tube while holding resin tube in one hand and curing strip, image H, which is that. Uh, place curing strip over damaged area and hold in resin. Remove any air bubbles by using safety razor. Yeah. Lightly over strip. Move the vehicle to sunny area and let sit in direct sunlight for 15 minutes. Uh -huh. Okay, once resin has cured, carefully remove curing strip by peeling it away from the windshield. If the surface of the glass is uneven, safety razor may be used to remove any excess cured resin from the windshield. Clean windshield again with alcohol towelette. Okay, so, we, uh, we have that on there. We're just going to be a little bit, uh, you know, uh, light on the sunlight, we'll say. I oh, could probably start the car and turn the heater on. Hmm. Okay. Well... I still see a crack in there, but I guess we're going to blame it on the product. I'm sure we followed the right directions to a T. Well, I'm not going to watch that dry there for that whole time, but 
And then we have our other repair going on that's working out quite well so far. I'm sure it's going along better than this repair has. But, okay, that's good enough. If you like the content, like, please. Put a thumbs up. Uh, like, comment, tell me, hey, you did that wrong. Um, you're supposed to do it another way. Um, and then, uh, uh, okay. Subscribe. Anyway, subscribe, yeah, please. Subscribe. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. There we go, so that you can see more of this uh, repairs. Okay. So, I got a lot more coming on. We got the uh, real speed sensor for the back. That I got ordered. I'm picking that up. And I'm going to show you another way to the, the uh, mm, what's that one thing called? That uh, secondary actuator no but running over there for the air pump. And it goes. <laughs> so I got it fixed. They wanted $200 for that pump. And I don't even know for sure that that's it. So, uh. I'm going to get that done for $17. Okay? So, that's it. Bye. Do the right thing.